Hey, it's cool here if you don't know, and it is time for some more of the Archimeglo. Let's bring up the board. So, what are we looking at today? Uh, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six games that have at least one item that I know that I can get. Uh, and two games have... Um, pretty distinctive forward progression at the very least. There's not a whole lot in Final Fantasy XIV, but uh, that's where we're going to be starting today. And um, we're going to try to get as much done as possible. I did do a hint, because uh, all I'm missing to get into Heaven's Ward territory is North, uh, Northern Vale and Access. That's in Paradox Cave, and uh, yeah, we don't have a way to really uh, get there yet. Uh, let's see. This. We're gonna get things started. With some Final Fantasy fourteen. Hello. And welcome. Uh, there is one new uh, zone that I have access to, and it is actually in Stormblood territory. Because um, it actually connects from... Um, uh, it connects from the Shroud somewhere. Hang on. We're going to Girabania. And uh, that connects... From, I think, here? South Shroud? No. What am I looking for? Ah, I wish I knew my, my Eorzean geography better. No, that's, that's absolutely not it. That's where I am now. Yeah, I, ha I do have a mechanic. Please wait until at least 30 minutes have passed before uh, redeeming that. I realize that this might not be the most exciting thing, but it is still part of the Archimegalo, and we still gotta do it. Um, so yeah, now let's start by going to the fringes. Never mind Eorzean geography, I get the message of war. war moving forward here. While we are doing the fates here, I'm also going to queue for stinging back. And away we go. Uh, stinging back being a um, a guild test I cannot do um I cannot do unsynced. I have to do it via the queue system, so that's what we're doing. Um. Oh shit! I know which one this is actually. This is a three-parter, and it's probably going to suck, and I might I might not actually survive. But we're going to do our best. Actually, what's more likely to happen is that uh, I queue in first. Actually, let's get to uh, Salon on the field here. The, the, the worst part about this is, like, this is a level 60 bait. And it's in a place, like, usually, like, 
uh, fates like this where you gotta clear out uh, a bunch of dudes. Those dudes are gonna be three levels below the fate level. But there's also a bunch of just regular level 60 enemies and those don't get scaled out. So that's kind of the worst thing about this. Considering that this is a three-parter, actually, I'm going to uh, withdraw my queue. I do want to get through this without getting interrupted. But yeah, I have had trouble with uh, this group of fates in the past. But also, I was trying to do them at level. Uh, doing them synced down to 64 and with level 90 gear shouldn't be too much of a worry, actually. It's just my take on that. Maybe someone else will show up in the meantime. And start and start clearing this out with me. Ah, I hate this location. Who came up with this location for this one? couple left in this one. So uh, uh, after this group is gonna uh, chain into the second part of this fight. There we go. Probably didn't pop bloodlust at the best time there but uh, is what it is. Well, buddy here is uh, chatting away. Let's uh, mark this off. Uh, 20 rupees. Oh, I gotta resync. Also, I keep forgetting this, which uh, allows me to do 10% more damage. Seems like a really useful thing to be using.
And it's batch one done. Second wind is uh, available again. I think someone's healing. Solana's doing a little poorly, but uh, should be able to manage, hopefully. Yeah, these knights are definitely healing. And halfway through now. Fortunately, he's coming waves, so... The, the next batch doesn't show up until... I'm done with the current one. Now living on a little more than a prayer, hopefully. Ooh, but maybe not that much. Alpha's running a little low. Second wind. Definitely doesn't help that those uh, friggin' plants keep poisoning me. Oh, Solana went down. Yep. Unfortunately, my home, uh, my home uh, etherite right now is to the heal owl, so <laughs> that's gonna be a bit of an expensive warp back. But the fade is still going, so all right, eighty percent. And before I sink back down, I'm going to take care of this problem, which is not part of it, part of the fate, and therefore I can just kill without sinking. Wait for Solana to recover her health, and, uh, and we'll sink back down and take care of the rest of this. And that and that. All that and a bag of chips. All that and a bag of your dead. Well, not dead per se. Oh, this guy's ranged. I'm gonna have to move in. The others are not paying attention at all. I don't know what the deal is. Oh, fuck off. Okay. Part two is done, and what do we get for our troubles? Five levels of ninja. Oh, that's threatening. But basically, the trick with this one is these are all bosses, therefore you want to take them out one at a time if you're doing this solo.
Some of them do have ranged attacks, so you hide behind this tree to bring them to you without, uh... Come on, how are you hitting me? You do not have... You do not have line of sight, sir. Come, come fight me like a regular person. Two. Come at me, bruh. Actually, Nanoku Noku, that's definitely a female name. <sighs> Solana! Don't draw aggro. This is going to be a problem. Fortunately, I have a ranged attack, so, you know. This will work eventually. I probably should have put her in healer stands so that, uh... There we go. And then I'm going to rejoin the queue so we can get started on that because uh, this is the last part. I just need to take out this guy. Like emptying a full bucket with a spoon. I mean, that's what you do with ice cream. No reason you can't do it with a boss fade. Sunrise. The ladders in South Atoll. Alright, and that's it for that fate, or that chain of fates. Yeah, uh, with your comment, Grim, now I'm just thinking of that one line from Futurama. Like a balloon and, and something bad happens. Oh dear. This may have been a bad decision. May have been a very bad decision.
I don't think diplomacy is an option, Jason. Also, hello. So great. <sighs> Hot damn, I won. Okay, well, maybe I maybe I was doing better than I thought I was, and that's the portable compass. Not a progression item, but a very useful one in Meredith. Uh, we just need one more fate, and there's a boss fate over here, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. And hopefully we can clear that before the queue pops. Celebrate with a cupcake? You're a cupcake. Oh boy, I was trying to avoid drawing any other ads, but uh, here we are, I guess. Okay, now for you. This should not be nearly as dangerous as uh, really any of the other fates that I uh, ran this session. Because I just gotta deal with the one dude. And there is not really much of a strategy here, just hit it until it's dead. Understand this boss. Um, almost got it. There we go. And that is fate number five and gives us a score bonus for bumper stickers. And that is all the fates that I can currently do. So I'm gonna go back to Castro Morgan's here and hopefully it doesn't take too long for this queue to pop. Uh, and then I can also get a couple of unsynced regular dungeons in before moving on to something else. Which I'm thinking probably more Kirby, because like progression in Kirby is still wide open. Unfortunately, because I decided to focus on that fate, uh, we're gonna get the cue pop immediately. <laughs> uh, which I guess turns into fortunately. <laughs> Fight your way to the dungeon and slay the bandit leader.
I guess slaying the bandit leader works pretty well when uh, we just leave this place with no bandits left at all. There's that leader. Red belly, red belly swarm point. I mean, I wasn't streaming yet, but uh, I clearly am now, yeah, so. I was trying to help you with your thing before um, stream, but unfortunately that ended up not happening. I see. So in fact, I was bothering you. <laughs> and there we go. Uh... Name our meager reward. 870 uh, experience plus 217. And what is our actual reward? 15 coins for a short hike. Alright, let's turn on Unrestricted Party and start doing some actual dungeons and just kind of blow through them. Uh, I'm gonna start with the Lost City of Ampador. Ninety-seven Gizzle Greens. Uh, I, I have. Uh, I currently have forty-two Gizzle Greens. Actually, so as usual, this is going to be just running through as quickly as I can here. Trying to clear out as much as possible and as few hits as possible. Since I'm doing a level 50 dungeon as level 90, I can basically just kite everything. You are supposed to do these, um, like, synchronized and queue up for them. But considering that uh, I am basically doing this live, um, I just kind of want to get it done, basically. I'm not gonna lie, I could do with an antidote though, because like some of these things are inflicting poison. Not much of a potent poison considering my level though, so I think I'll survive. Boss number one there. I also gotta do Ampador hard, uh, Ampador, Lost City of Ampador hard. Got to distinguish between Lost City and Ampador Keep. Two different dungeons. Sometimes it's also about knowing exactly which mobs um, open the door forward. Yeah, 
Yes, this is Final Fantasy XIV. You might be wondering how am I doing Final Fantasy XIV in a multi-world. Um, basically, I have a program that tells me um, what is in logic and what I need to do to progress. And then I tell it what, uh, what checks I've made and it sends those to the multi-world server and I get items. This is not the Krusty Krab. Uh, I think this part of the dungeon I just basically have to kill everything. Yeah, it doesn't, uh, doesn't materialize the way forward until I just clear the platform. I mean, it is a little complicated, but it's like the one way to do this that is um, compliant to the terms of service of Final Fantasy XIV. Oh, I and uh, I mean, honestly, Archipelago, Archipelago itself is complicated. It doesn't know what it means. Oh, you survived that hit. How dare you. I faded copy of the Scars of Battle. Do I have the Scars of Battle? I'm curious to see if I got a new Orchestrian. I do. Okay. Okay. Uh, Lost City of Ambador is clear. Let's see. Dungeons ARR. Lost City of Ambador is a Falchion for Alucard. I mean, yeah, I, I can understand you not wanting to do uh, Final Fantasy XIV, or for that matter, probably Final Fantasy XI. Although I think XI, like, they would like to make it into an offline game at some point. So uh, maybe at that point it'd be a little more accessible to do it as a... Uh, All the card is kind of crap. Sometimes. On Tuesdays. Oh shit. It... it just sent the Wanderer's Palace. Well, guess what? We're doing the Wanderer's Palace in order to keep this above board. Like, the manual client is kind of glitchy. Sometimes, like, I try to click on something, and instead of clicking on that thing, it just sends a check instead. I don't know why. Ah, uh, where's the Wanderer's Palace? Please, Jason, tell us how you really feel. Unfortunately, I don't have any ice cream. Fortunately, tonberries in this game are not um, immediately deadly. However, there is something in this dungeon that uh, definitely should be avoided. Uh, 
Uh, did anything drop anything? No. The bite lizards of Final Fantasy. Uh, okay, that one's not rusted. Because, like, the whole thing in this dungeon is you have these minion devices that uh, open doors. And then these tonberries have lantern oil that I use to uh, get the rusted ones moving. So this one's a little annoying to get through. This, of course, is the era of, like, you have to click on the thing and then select yes, as if you would ever pick no. Let's see if I can remember how to, uh, oh, there, there is the boy. That guy is not targetable and, uh, will wreck your shit. Fortunately, I am still level 90 and that guy is still level 50. I didn't actually pick up that lantern oil. There's one Nimian device left around here and I don't remember where it is. Like some of these earlier dungeons, I appreciate what they were going for, but in terms of an MMORPG, they just don't really flow that well. Like this one, you're either going to have four players just running around this dungeon trying to figure out which one they've missed and where it is. Or you're going to have people who know exactly where everything is and just speed run through the whole thing. Like there's no good way to make this dungeon interesting. But I get like they were trying to do something a little more different and more like Final Fantasy-ish. I get it. Okay, so now we don't have to worry about the naming devices so we don't have to stop for, uh, for the time berries. The, well, the only ones are going to be these two over here.
Like the sad thing is, I like because this uh, this check was sent. I already know what's in it, and it's not even anything particularly useful. At least at the moment. I mean, it could be useful for like upgrading my characters later. But right now, a thousand orbs for Astalon ain't it. Oh, what did it send this time? God damn it. Pharaoh Seer, was that even in. Okay, Pharaoh Sirius, I think, is in logic, but now we're gonna have to do that too. I really would like for this uh, for this program to like not force me to do a dungeon because it decided to click on the button for no reason. I think after this I'll do one more and then I'll switch over Kirby. I've still got uh, six dungeons in lot. I'm starting to think that at least one of these dungeons I have, like, I, I might have sent out of logic, but, like, I wasn't intending to. So, like, unfortunately, that's just how it is. the store and these guys wake up. Zombies of the corrupted ether crystals. You know, overall, I still do enjoy me some Final Fantasy XIV. Like, there's a lot of diversity in this game. Some, some parts of it are definitely better than others. And like, the later you get into the game, like, the more refined it is. And then they, they manage to, like, do interesting things while still having a mostly pretty linear dungeon. was a dead end. <laughs> a thousand orbs for Astalon. It's the name of your new fantasy novel series. <laughs> One orb per book. Alright Stephen King, calm down. Corrupted evil zombies over here. And up we go. At least like, I don't know if Pharaoh Sirius was supposed to be in logic, but at least security key card C is a good check. I don't know if it 
gives me any progression, though. Well, the game on your Steam wishlist is on sale. Which one? Oh, yeah. Um, Lost Ruins. I don't think I've heard of that one. I, I tried to, like, since I had to reboot into uh, Windows for the Arkham Megalo, I tried to just real quick to see if I could get uh, Aglon running. And uh, no. I mean, it runs, but I cannot get the controller working at all. Also, I forgot the Ether Vault down here. Like, if it really comes down to that, that I just can't get it running in Linux at all, and can't get it running in uh, Windows, what the? Let me do the thing. And can't get it running in Windows with my controller? Change it to controller, then exit the game? Oh, man. I have to wonder, like, how how is this programmed that you have to go through these hoops? I'll try it again, probably not tonight, but like at some point. I'll give it another try, and uh... If I can get it running with the controller even just a little bit, like sufficiently enough to like be playable, then great. Uh, if I still can't get it working, I might just refund it. I realize it's only like a buck and a half, but like if it doesn't work at all, then you know. Uh, so I think I'm gonna go Belser's Wall for the last one for today. I was looking at uh, I was looking at the Universal Tracker and it was saying it was saying Belser's Walls. I was like, what's Belser's Wall? Is that one of the guild hosts? And uh, checked into it, and no, it's actually a um, it's actually a Heaven's War dungeon that I have access to. Sir, I would appreciate if you would let go of this chain. I can break these chains! The keyboard controls are fine, but then you have to play with the keyboard. Like, I guess if it were to come to that, like, I guess I could also, like, run x -Patter. Like, I, I would like to not have to um, run x -Patter just to uh, play a game with a controller using keyboard controls, but... I'm not adding Pal World to the Archimagala, please stop asking. Ah, uh, Grim, when I say no and don't ask again, I don't mean maybe later. I realize that a lot of corporations seem to think I mean maybe later.
I'm not playing anything? Why did it not switch the game? I clicked on the button. Yeah, it changed the changed the, the overlay and uh, like the timer is running correctly. The scripts are all running correctly, just for some reason it didn't change the game. That's weird, I'm gonna have to look into that. What about Corman as a comp? I don't know what Corman is. Big old master hand. Not so masterful now, are you? Oh, it's a Pokemon clone. Okay. I'm good, thanks. Sorry if I'm sounding a little bit crappy right now, like, it is very humid in my apartment, actually. Like, today was like a midsummer day, weather-wise. The Poglings? I don't know that I want something named Pog anything. Onward! Move to the parapet. Post haste. Double time. Ah, and this is gonna be another one of these that uh, I am forced to kill everything as I go. Yeah, that's, that's one thing that I like better about the older dungeons is that like you can just rush through all the way until like the boss and then just kill everything. Whereas like some, some of these, uh, a lot of the later dungeons have like a mechanic where you can't just pull like an entire leg of the dungeon. Also, I'm not gonna lie, where it says third cohort, I'm like third co-host, and that makes me sad. Now I remember what Bowser's Wall is. This is the wall that separates the Shroud from, uh, your, uh, from, uh, friggin... Garabania. There's definitely some interesting story stuff that happens here at the end of, uh... 
at the end of Heaven's Word. And I will not be going over any of it. If you want to partake of the story of this game, I strongly suggest either playing it yourself, if you have the financial means to do so, or uh, looking up some uh, videos that will explain it a lot better than I can in a short amount of time. Bowser's Wall. Uh, Heaven's Word. Bowser's Wall. Defense Offering for Tunic. Let's go back. I have not played through Final Fantasy X myself. Like, I've played, like, bits and pieces of it. But I never had a PS2, so I didn't really have the opportunity or perhaps misfortune to play Final Fantasy X, 12, or 13. Actually, was 13 Final, uh, on the PS3? I forget which one, which ones on on ah, words. I forget which ones are on the PS3. I would have, I I would also have liked to play Final Fantasy XI, but it's kind of late for that. I'll wait for it to become uh, an offline game. Anyway, so we got a couple of things. Uh, I'm gonna check first. Let's see. Also, I'm going to need to copy this so that I may paste it here. Now I'm going to open a universal tracker. And let's see if anything's opened up in Time Spinner. Uh, nope, there's still just the one check that I am sure I have, I should have actually gotten by now, but didn't, apparently. So that is still in BK mode. I did not make any comment about you being down the room. I tend not to comment on someone being dumb. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to do... Is this switch the right way? Yeah, it is. 2.4G. Okay, no, that's... No, it is not switched the right way. I need to turn it to Bluetooth mode. Okay, okay. Um, leave that there. Actually, bring that over here, and uh, let's put up the shadow cast. Why did it try to connect to five fishing levels? That is not a slot name. Okay, let me... There is something wrong with this manual point. Let me spin up another one.
How do I feel about Tunic? Pretty good. I mean, if I didn't feel good about it, I would not have added it to the Archimegalo. Um, it's maybe not what we expected to get originally, but uh, I still enjoy it. I would enjoy it more right now if I had a sword. Because right now I don't have a sword and I need to um, get through the quarry because that's where pretty much all of the checks are. Okay. Let's turn up the volume. Okay. Unfortunately, um, sending bits does not give Tunic a sword. It, this, is, this is not crowd control. I would not want to mix crowd control with a, uh, a multi-world solo arc body thing. That just seems like a level of chaos that I don't need in my life. Uh, let's, uh... Okay, what abilities do I have? I have Ice Cutter, Fire, Tornado, Crash, Drill, and Hammer. Uh, let's go with Cutter. I do have level 2 Cutter. Twitch chat plays the world. Have we tried what? Have we tried adding crowd control to- Like, first of all, I am not interested in inflicting crowd control upon myself. I tend to feel kind of bad to, uh, inflict crowd control upon other people for that matter. Thank you for the bits, Grim. Anyway, we're going straight into a boss. Um... So we cannot get uh, hit high up cl uh, Claraline using Ranger because we don't have Ranger. Uh, defeat without hovering, clear within a minute and a half, clear without taking any damage. There is one blueprint here, and then the stage clear in the three of all these. I think this is Ranger. I don't have Ranger unlocked. We, we got Sword, but I don't have it unlocked. And we got Bomb, and we don't have it unlocked. So I can't use any of those abilities. Great. With the Flying Mouse? What are you talking about? Oh. Uh. That that's that one is not for eating, thank you. Oh, that's uh I already missed the one without uh without hovering, but that's okay. I do need to use like defensive maneuvers a little more often now.
Because, yeah, there are straight up some bosses that if you don't use uh, dodges, uh, you're gonna have a hard time. Uh, dodging some, like, avoiding some of the attacks. Like that one, for instance. Oh, jeez. daggers here. Oh, I guess they're not really Saki daggers because uh, she like doesn't stop timing. Anything. Oh, those are going to be close actually. I disagree, but okay, if you want to give it to me, I'll, I'll take it. And I think we have five levels of uh, samurai, stage clear, star coins, gold crustagon, oh, and a booster for bumper stickers. Fighting a spiral character. Hi. Yeah, that brings us back here, and we got the arena open, but. We can't actually use the arena until we've actually unlocked it. Oh, we did unlock it. Okay. Let's see. Uh, wall D town unlock. Flash fishing area unlock. Okay, no. Um, no, it says Meta Knight Cup Clear. Meta Knight Sword Blueprint? I feel like those shouldn't be in logic. Hey, Meta Knight, how you doing? Gonna hang out? That's fine. Uh, can I though? No, I cannot. I only have level 1 drill and therefore I cannot upgrade drill to level 2. I can, however, go take a nap. Kind of needed a Okay. So the next level is going to be in the next world. Just basically ice, ice baby. And winter horns. There's our first level of Northeast Frost Street. Uh, are there any treasure roads in this area? Here's the light bulb treasure. 
not really in a rush. Let's let's do the larger quantity of checks first. So northeast, Frost Street, uh, we cannot get the second hidden Waldy, but everything else is accessible. We have three other Waldies, destroy four animal snow sculptures, find the side alley, reach the clock tower, capsule behind a bomb block and behind a shutter, as well as a sparkling spot near the fin final teetering something, and also like four capsules in the stage, wow. And then stage clear the three Waldies at the end. Oops. And there I go, pressing B again. Antonia Mila Banderas night. It is press B to jump, but it's press A to confirm. But it gets a little confusing. I will not tolerate your aggressive snowballing. So I think you will. Never conform. But sometimes you need to conform. It will sadden you to find out, Jason, that I cannot currently use gun. I will, however, let this uh, this one creature be. Find the side alley. That is a heaven seed for crosscode, which I, which sounds like a um, maybe a trade item. So the bomb block, five levels of monk. My use of face tanking, I will unlock this. And then I will make sure that I have unlocked this not full mode, but I'm pretty sure I did bending mouth. Okay. Actually that was there. I collect these cans for both for health and also to restock my ammo. down there. I don't know. The caps are here. And so behind shutter is the resend, which is for later. The basic restorative item. First Waddle D. Which is actually a Waddle D. Is this even randomized?
Oh, this sure is a platform. Now this is probably why I can't get the second one yet, because I have to shoot that target. And the only way to do that is with Ranger. Show me why this guy is this guy. I wouldn't be surprised to find out that I've missed one of them already. Some bomb block of there. Clearly there's something fun behind it. If I can get it. There's a wall of these. There's a fruit, uh, three fruit pies. Earlier. <laughs> Kirby did swallow the gar uh, garbage display when nothing would happen. Well, I don't know. Maybe then he could, like, swallow things and turn them into, like, blocks to be used for, you know, other purposes than just projectiles. I definitely already have this much. This one. I might have missed one. It's okay if we missed one here or there, or a stone was in there, New Jersey. I don't know why New Jersey, but that's what it is now. I definitely hear a lot. Shaman Shield. thinking, well, that's the end of the stage, right? Except we can go over here. Oh, 
and that's one of our hidden walls. It is reached the clock tower. But I did, in fact, miss one of the uh, snow sculptures, I think. Unless it's like here on this platform, but I don't see it. Oh well. Listen, this is Kirby we're talking about. Kirby will destroy you unless he is your friend. So we got Nine Star of the Time Spinner, B Trap for Time Spinner, and a Golden Coin for Tunic. And so we move on to Metro on Ice. Oh, well, but we are going to open up a couple of treasure roads. Are these treasure roads that I can do? The answer is no. A lot of these treasure roads coming up require upgraded abilities that I don't have yet, so... With that, let's go on to Metro on Ice. We have uh, one wall, uh, one regular hidden wall that we can't get, but we have three others we can. Stand on top of two trains, find two secret passages, check inside the shipping container, uh, four capsules to find, and then the uh, three Valdis at the end. what yet, but uh, if they're giving it to me at the beginning of the stage, I probably need it for something. I almost definitely need Hammer though, and I'll show up somewhere like this, uh, in the stage, I think. thought that uh, running face first into a bomb would be a good idea, but uh, here we are, I guess. Oh, jeez. That water is too icy for me. <laughs> Just telefrag that guy, I guess. We have now stood on top of a train. And train. Let's see if I can get to the other one now. Could definitely do with some food. Especially if I'm gonna do something like that. By the way, if you thought you needed hammer, or if you didn't pick up on the fact that you did, maybe now you will. 
Especially for the fact that it's, yeah, it's just going to straight up put a hand right there. There you go. Stand on top of two trains. A missile tank for six. Kirby is not happy with uh, running on ice when he is not himself ice. Just to make sure I'm not missing anything over here. Hearing a lot of the probably need to nail all of these in. Oh dear. Okay. Getting all the number one, twenty monies for tunic. Hey J Pop, how you doing? I'm not gonna pull you for too long here, but uh it's hard to deny that uh this game has the most amount of progression in it. That is a Zircon for Alucard. lead. Okay, a little tired, yeah. I I can definitely empathize with that. As intended. Make sure I didn't miss anything here and uh, for this fourth shard. Oh shoot, do I have dome mouth? Out still, so I'm afraid that this Waddle Dee will have to remain in its imprisonment for the time being. that I have for uh, being happy about being picky is that I like I don't really care much about what I eat as long as um, it's something that I want to eat. What is spacon?
I'm trying not to start saying it like friggin' Matt LeBlanc. How you doing? <laughs> Uh, I think this is Comorth, which I do have. I think we uh, we can all agree that I have Code Mouth enabled. That was the one thing that was uh, holding me back for the longest time. Oops. I was marking off a check and wasn't looking. Oh, progressive dungeon unlock! That puts, uh... That puts cross code in progression mode. Mark of that right now. Cross code is available. Fourth Monday, which gives uh, Leah Winter Claw. I don't know if that's going to be an upgrade or not, but uh, that's something. We check inside the shipping container. The Wallaby and capsule inside the shipping container for star coins. And then we just got to find one more. Secret passage. Oh no, it's the end of the level. I missed the secret passage apparently. But that's okay. We'd just be leaving one check behind. Unless, of course, the secret passage is over here. They do sometimes hide things at the end of the stage. Looks like no. Snaffles, caps off, bodies, jars, and the baby. Jason, are you okay? Do we need do we need to contact someone? Airstone, seashell, and a life vessel. Yeah, everyone's tired and sleepy. Like, hopefully you're not looking to me for energy, because I, I'm not especially high energy. So we only found one secret passage, had to leave one Wallaby behind. Uh, and now we are moving on to Windy Freezing Seizures. Four checks inaccessible here. Call a bunch of us. Can we get either of those? That's locked. That's locked. Okay, Windy Freezing Seas. Four checks not accessible here. Um, there is the first hidden Waddle D is not accessible. Four more are. Uh, enjoy three meals at sea. Jump into the secret in underground room. Uh, there is a blueprint for dragon fire. Capsule uh, bomb block. Two more capsules I can't get. And then the end of the stage. I mean, if it's an MST3K reference, I've probably seen it. The thing is, there is so much MST3K. Like at, at this point, there have been four official hosts of uh, MSD3K. Ooh, 
Ooh. Wait, do I have this mouthful? I remember this being a thing before. Do I have pipe mouth? I don't have pipe mouth. Let's start over. I can't do that. And I can't, uh, I can't let it go, unfortunately. I did a thing that I am not allowed to do. And that I cannot undo. Ow! No! Give me that. <sighs> I'm spider manning outside. Could you not please? I'm getting ready to sleep. When Jelvis was still on the show, but it was after GTMA. That's one of the secret wallabies over there, but uh, I don't have an ability that can get by this uh, strong wind. It's over here. Ooh. That is the one capsule I can get. For the heart vessel. It's back on, you can run into the wind. Yeah, I don't remember as much of the first season. Like season, I should say season one in contrast to season zero. the coins because that might make something appear. That's the second one. And that looks like progress. Time. It is not. Okay. Go. Don't know that you care to be seeing that much inside of Kirby. Look into the abyss. Okay. Ooh, progressive ranger. Hey, Jason, we can use gun now. Now, why does it say that this is out of magic? I got it. That's weird. Okay, I need fire for this. Uh, 
do I have fire? Maybe that's why. It's not expecting me. No, I do have fire. No, I don't know. It's weird. That's the toy shovel. Wait, no, wait. I know I already found a toy shovel, right? Yeah, I already found a toy shovel. I've already given it and I've already gotten a check out of it. I guess there's multiple? That's weird. Anyway. I know that there are multiples of some items in the uh, short hike. Quarry. Oh, that's gonna make things a little easier when I have to go to the quarry. Again. And I will have to go to the quarry. Again. I do have this. There's our blueprint. Fury Elder Wood. Jump into the secret underground room. Uh, that's for Star Coins. Which may as well be nothing, honestly. remaining Wobble D that I can get for a Strength Potion. And I think, in fact, that is all of the checks that I can get here. Unless I can get the capsule behind Left Rocket Goal. Because, like, it didn't... Like, it said that the other uh, capsule that I did end up getting was not a magic. I mean, it was attainable. Logic is just wrong. Miss a wall D. Five levels of Black Mage. Max HP plus one. And a circuit charge upgrade. I think we're gonna go one more stage. And then we'll go on break and then we'll play something else. I mean, to call Kirby non Newtonian seems like a good idea, honestly. Uh, that is Tornado Treasure. Ah, we do have Tornado Ability Unlocked. I don't know, I don't remember how many abilities there are in this game.
I was more uh, hoping to get an actual like series number, Jason. Have a good night, Grim. Thanks for coming by. I could have gotten the target time, but oh well. Treasure Rose, uh, Tornado Predator, Shrimp Risotto. Time for the Battle of the Big Bridge. No, wait, that's Final Fantasy XIV. Time for the Battle of Blizzard Bridge. Um, what can we get here? Can't get the first or last Waddle Dee. Uh, we cannot remove the four wanted posters. Uh, three more Waddle Dees to get, and we can beat Twin Frosty without getting hurt. Take a detour and find a Max and Tomato. There's one blueprint, three capsules, a secret room, and the Sage Glare. So the, the, the detour is honestly kind of dumb. It's something that you wouldn't really think to do, like, at all. Like, I struggled to find this. I watched someone else struggle to find this. And then it looks like it's, like, that's everything. But no, you can keep going up. This is the actual detail, which uh, cuts out a lot of the level. Which capsule is this? Actual capsule plus new seat. That's the new secret room. Is this the secret room? Okay, that's gotta be the secret room. Also took a detour. Got a hammer for Symphony of the Night. Three chef sandwiches and a vital D. just threw out my ability like a doofus. Maybe even a trefus. Motherfucker with another motherfucker. Uh, I don't have sword mode, so I'm gonna have to throw that out. But I'm going to need sword in order to do this. Do I have bomb? I 
was something about Twin Florina, wasn't there? Oh, there's a there's a capsule after this boss. Oh, jeez. This, uh, this might not end well. Get this down with uh oh no not this again. I'm trying to get this down with no abilities ain't great. If this starts getting a little too rough, I might use my uh, my amiibo to get uh, healing items. It did, in fact, not. Oh good, now both of them are in phase two. fight with no ability. Okay, one of them down, the other down. I do have Tornado, so I'm going to grab this ability. get my hidden wall day. So now I gotta beat um, two Mr. Frosties without taking damage. And I do have drill. 
but that's not this fight, I guess. Get the loops in, but uh, The problem is, like, if they hammer, if they hammer or jump at my position, they can still hit me if, even if I'm underground. Ah, oh, man, this is rough. Ah, uh, no, thanks. At least this time I get to do it with full health. I know, but I'm starting to see the argument toward uh, changing this to Spring Breeze mode temporarily. Okay, that's one of them down. And as usual, beat one motherfucker with another motherfucker. is going to be timed, isn't it? Oh, great job not jumping there, Kirby. At this point, we may as well just take the death zone back at full health. That is a correct use of that uh, of that emote zero.
Cool. Power of Mist. All right. All right. Let's try that again. you turn around, Kirby? Oh, well, that's the damage loss run down. Kirby! Shit, now I gotta be two of you. Well, you know what? I would really like to be able to charge this hammer for two seconds. I don't know if you know, but this fight really sucks. Failed to beat a motherfucker with another motherfucker. Wham! Oh boy. I was hoping to get the damage this one this time, but uh, unfortunately, foiled again. Far from being damageless, but worth it. Has the Frosty Ice Blueprint for 200 orbs for Asylon. There we go. 
actually I see what I gotta do, and I can't do it, so this is the fifth hidden wall D. And we're just gonna have to walk on by. I think there's supposed to be a capsule here at the end, but uh Oh. Oh, don't your secret goal. Five levels of Astrologian, a Devonian Hintrum as an Idleshire, and ten arrows. Alright, well, there's a. Uh, Still plenty of things to get in that one, but uh, I'm going to call that good for now. And we're going to leave off just before another boss. Just an unexpected beast king. Surely we have no idea which king they're talking about. At this point, even if I can do these, I can do ice, I can do time crash, I'm still going to leave it because we're well beyond break time at this point. of fire and ice. Those can be evolved now. But there's no time! We have to take a break. Um, so yeah. It is break time. So y'all can take a moment, get some to drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth. And at about 10-15 minutes, probably on the shorter side because we're way past time now. Uh, we will uh, go ahead and uh, check out another game and see what we can uh, accomplish on the big board. So, I'll see you in a bit.